Hello. Welcome to the final chapter of the season, War 9 against our dear brothers for Loki, who once again, um, actually not once again, who are having a bad season this season, but once again, I had to be careful of the order of that, have what seems to be their best war of the season against us. Um, we're going in today with Toad, Symbiote Supreme and Crossbones. I've got some quite terrifying fights today, and quite frankly, I think I've reached the point where I'm feeling very burnt out. Um, I dread when war comes up now at the minute. It's quite stressful, it's it's just a lot at the minute, and I probably need to take a break. But we'll get to that. Anyway, looking at the map, we're going for Serpent on Path 9. Um, thought about Toad versus Zemo, but Colossus is a better idea there. And then we've got path four for section two. We're going for scroll on node 43. And then a chance at revenge for thing on node 49. So starting off, we've got a... Obviously, we're doing everything max boosted. Um, I wasn't sure about this fight with Sim Supreme. Well, I was. But, I mean, I know how he interacts with the hazard and with Serpent in general. But I wasn't sure about the whole power back thing and the fact he gets indestructible charge when I get gain one bar of power. However, I put some thought into it and figured that when I do get that, he it should nullify and fuel my mystic dispersion. So I decided to start with power start one instead of an invulnerability. And my theory instantly paid off. The indestructible nullified at the start pushes me to some to uh, two bars and now I just wait for to get to the third bar um, I definitely wish that I had well I don't I, I sh it probably would have been more sensible to go with an invulnerability boost instead I'm still you know no pro at this fight as well as the last attempt went but yeah I got a bit impatient here didn't wait for my hundred genetic charges which I hoped as this launches wouldn't come back to bite me I really had no idea how this fight was going to go, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. The last time that I took this fight, Serpent didn't throw a single special. So we start well by throwing my special 2 into his block, which doesn't obviously give me much power back. Um, I eat a special 1 to the face, the entirety of it, which is great. Again, the indestructible has nullified, and that's again. So yeah, really pleased with how my theory worked. Again, I eat another special one to the face. So that's two. I'm still alive, just. And I'm absolutely shitting myself, to be honest. And we almost kill him off, but not before we decide to eat another special one. Oh, possibly not. For some reason I thought I ate three in this fight, but clearly it was two. Now we just have to wait out, he's indestructible. Or oh, death immortality. Oh no, we did indeed eat three special ones. I was convinced that was going to kill me, but he had so much weakness on him. And thank god my special two killed him through block, because I probably wouldn't have survived whatever was to come next. Scary as hell fight, and we got through it. A solo is indeed a solo, and at least it looks interesting. So now we come to section two for path four, and we're going to be starting off against Agent Venom. Um, this is quite an easy fight. I'm not going to be having, unless I eat his special one and therefore get bleeds on me, I'm not going to be having enough debuffs on me for him to go unblockable. So Toad can just do Toad things. I can parry him enough at the start to reduce his purification ability, and then it's just going to be a straightforward fight. My hands at this point were still quite shaky after getting through and surviving the Serpent fight. Thankfully, I don't think it showed too much for this fight. Who needs an indestructible chart buff anyway? 
boost, whatever. did do here was silly by throwing the relic and putting the bleed on myself it did give me that third debuff which made him unblockable luckily he didn't get a chance to do anything and I could clean him off beforehand uh, my next fight against photon with crossbones I definitely wasn't full of confidence here but I was comfortable enough based on how the last one went on the node that agent venom was just on actually so I figured crossbones would do very well here however I played it absolutely terribly. Um, I still had my invulnerability boost active, so which was what I intended. But yeah, just played this fight really, really badly. Um, initially, it doesn't go too badly. I can just do crossbones things, and but now I, some debuffs still getting through. Um, I completely missed the decks for the special one and eat that. Again, using up my indestructible boost early. Um, and yeah, just fail to avoid anything. Eat everything to the face. Um, there's not really too much I can do here. I do manage to bait the uh, decks the special one. Um, make the mistake of knocking her down with her 15 charges, which means that I'm not going to be able to do anything about the next special. And the special 2 is just just completely toasts me. I did forget to press record for the cleanup. It wasn't clean at all, but I did manage to get her down. Um, as you can see, that was a terrible fight as well. I promise I had healed up to the start as well. Maybe I should pretend I didn't. And now we come up to scroll on node 43. Um, this is going to be a slightly easier fight than when I faced Serpent on 44, mainly because I can parry and stun here, and scroll gets more buffs, so my my power gain is just going to go through the roof, so I can spam even more specials. However, I still decided to go with my, I think I had my invulnerability boost active still. Um, I really can't remember, I've since run out of them now so it's going to be down to units for using my next ones for the rest of the season start by just getting a few parries on to get my prowesses up i'm um, also just waiting to obviously to climb to three bars i did manage to get a stagger on there which means hitting him is going to reduce nullify his armors and off to three bars i go now the md cycle can begin Just bait the special one first. I didn't want to eat an unblockable or whatever special two from him, which he does like to throw out of nowhere. So as long as I can keep his power low as well. We are cooking with gas. Ideally I'd have had a thrown my special two there. Just trigger the falter to get rid of it. Yeah, this this fight is very very satisfying. Sim soup with five MD is pretty wild, and that's going to do it for this fight. A bit of burst at the end, and he's finished. Yeah, I I enjoyed that. I need I needed that after what I'd just been through so far. And now to finish my war off, we come back to Thing here with Toad which is absolutely terrifying. We know how it went beforehand. It was good on the whole, but a couple of silly mistakes. And yeah, so we've just got to get this get this done and it needs to be clean because the war as this was going on was very, very close. Um, for Loki are, have two more deaths than us, but have done about, I think, 50 more fights or so. so. 
we really are on an uphill battle today. I made a very silly mistake at the start of this fight, or not too long after the start, to be honest, which really set me up for a beating. <coughs> Excusez-moi. Uh, accidentally got intercepted there, counters me hitting him, which brought his charges down to 12 before he throws a special. And now he's at his max rock stacks with barely any power, and brute force is ticking me down very, very hard, because I can't do anything about it. And now I have to wait for him to throw a special, and I'm down to 50% already. But now, thankfully, I can get an opening, and I can start hitting him again. Need to be a lot more careful here. And the slow from the special two is going to be invaluable here, as it's just going to stop him getting to his max rock stacks and unstoppable for a while. It lasts for I think 25 seconds, so yeah, I can take full advantage of that. Plus this long stun from him also gives me another few openings. So yeah, that was a really, really valuable part of the fight. force trying to make sure that I'm as scared as I can be. Um, the special two does really special three does really well for me. You get a burst of sting of poison damage. Oh, you, you, it ticks down a large chunk of poison damage over I can't remember how many seconds plus the same amount per extra prowess effect. So not only buffs but also I would expect the tactic prowesses as well. So that's really doing a valuable bit of work for me. here because I didn't notice that his stacks hadn't gone to 15 and had stopped at 14. Luckily the poison killed him off and we got a terrifying solo which I'm really really happy with. That's the end of my war. Um, as I said we've got very much an uphill battle um, with a lot left to go. Really well played again once more to our friends for Loki. Um, I've got faith that my guys can pull it out of the bag. Just need to pray a bit now. I'll see you soon. Bye.